Several Potter's Key vendors say they are pleased with the government's decision to beautify the area. Agriculture and Marine Resources Minister V. Alfred Gray recently told ZNS News that the government wants to transform Potter's Key into a mecca for outdoor family activities. Now, while there are some vendors who agree with this decision, there are also a few customers who say major upgrades to the popular hotspot is long overdue. Agriculture and Marine Resources Minister V. Alfred Gray recently announced that all dilapidated government buildings on the Potterski Dock will be the first to receive a major facelift within the initial phase of the Potterski beautification exercise. In the next three to six weeks, you would see a new Potterski Dock emerging because whatever buildings belong to the government, I have co contracted for improving, repairing, and painting of them. Risky Dock is considered one of the most popular hangouts for Bahamians and visitors alike, but has been an eyesore for many years. Now, a few vendors we spoke to say they welcome the government's plans to beautify the vicinity. I agree with them to, you know, upgrade it after the long time that at least I've been out here, you know. Well, I totally agree with the government because Porto Ski is a wonderful place to be and it will make the families more comfortable in coming in this area. Parts like around this thing, they won't put towers straight around and you know that's a beautified place for the tourists. And then you know, uh, tourists will want to come back more and more to the Bahamas. It would be good to see beautify the place, put trees and, and, and paint up the stalls, the old ones, get rid of the old ones and put them on uh, benches so people can come with their family and you know have a good weekend time with the a few of the dock's frequent customers say even though Potter's Key Dock provides that down-home Bahamian experience, efforts to beautify the area and make it more environmentally friendly is long overdue. All these old boats and stuff like this, you understand I me, mean, they need to charge them a fee, let them, so the money would they bring in from that, they could maintain the place and then because the tourists like come on in each year, you understand I me, mean, it really ain't sanitized and look too good. They really got to get it together. You understand I me? Mean? Have running water, run, running water and light because the people them patronizing the tourists like this place and this and, and especially if the tourists them spending, clean up the place. You understand me? Keep them happy. We need these people to feed us. I think there's a few things that they need to work on, like the restrooms and stuff like that. We gotta make those, you know, always clean, always working. You know, you have people that you bring from all around the world. You don't want them to walk in the restroom and then walk right back out and they have to go. Now all these vendors and customers say they want to see is signs of the upgrades being carried out, a boost in their businesses, and to enjoy some good old Bahamian fun. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.